you for Doug. <laughs> but I pay mommy's credit card bills. She's not going anywhere. She says you don't pay them anyway. The kids at school are calling you lawnmower and teasing me and Kyle. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that is? Do you want me in therapy before I'm 10? I know kids can be cruel sometimes, but if that's what it takes to make this a perfect family, then I'm sure it's for the best. You know I'd do anything for you kids. She says to tell you that she's having an affair with Doug. <laughs> Good for Doug. I'm sure he'll be very happy in our family. We did it this morning, and we'll do it tomorrow morning, just not tonight. Now go to sleep, huh, please? I will not go to sleep. I demand you to have sex with me. Oh, Jen, please don't demand it. You're killing me. I don't care what you have to do. I don't care if it lasts 30 seconds. I want your semen. Jen, will you stop with the lotion already? It's not even sunny out. You are going to get burned. I know you. is your problem? Well, sir, I just wanted to let you know our organization accepts all kinds of donations. Couches, clothes, <laughs> some people have even given us cars. Back. Oh. Sure, come on in here. It stings like hell. You were right. I will never go out in the sun again without sunscreen. I'll never go out in the sun again, period. I told you to put more lotion oh, on. Oh, man. Call the hospital. You'll be all right. Oh. Ready? Oh, oh man. Oh, this is permanent okay. damage. I know, I know. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, man, 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 man. What are you doing? You might feel better if you lie down. I can't lie down. This stings. Come on. I know what you need, honey. Whoa, wait, wait. No, I cannot do this now. Lie down. I can't, honey. It stings. Family. Look, pal, we got called here on a job and we're gonna do it. It's as simple as that. My name is Richard Moore, all right? I live here. Look, your wife called us a couple of days ago. By the looks of this place, it's a damn good thing she did. Don't you guys have a homeowners association? My wife called you? She couldn't understand. I was doing this for her and the kids. It's something we could call our own. It's something I could do for us that she, she couldn't screw up.
slash uh, <clears throat> Doug Jennings. Yeah. Not so sure if you remember this or not, but um, I was uh, elected to be the chairman of this little neighborhood a few months ago. May we come in? What the hell have you done to my house? You can sit anywhere. Ah. Uh. <laughs> We'd rather not, you know, I just, Vicky just gave me these chinos for my birthday and well, uh, <laughs> you know how hard it is to get grass stains out. Well, I suppose I should go ahead and get to it. Rich, when you moved to this community, you committed yourself and your family to a, a code of excellence for maintaining your home. We all did. <laughs> Now, this is a free country. And God bless those pioneers and those soldiers who came in and made it that way. So I can't come in here and tell you how to run your life or your family. But I was given charge of this house. That is my responsibility. And I was chosen to make sure that this neighborhood stays the beautiful place that it is. This is beautiful. This was all for them. But they couldn't understand what I was trying to do. And you can't tell me how to run my home, and neither can you. Not anymore. You know, I was afraid you might feel that way, Rich. That's right. When you moved in, you signed an agreement as to the proper upkeep of your home. I've got a copy of it right here. And the basic gist is, is that you're skating on thin ice. And when that ice breaks, you will be kicked out, and the home will become the property of the community developers. Let me see that. It says here that any alterations to the interior of the home can be done at the discretion of the homeowner. That's me. Well, that may be technically true, but... Oh, gosh darn it, Rich. Certainly there must be some way that we can all come to an agreement. Baby making going, Joe. Painfully. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> My pee pee hurts. <laughs> it does, man. Forget ovulation. Your sister's taking no chances. She's prepared to go at it 24 7 till she's late. <laughs> My boy needs a little R&R. &R. Oh, mm. God, I wish I had your problems. <laughs> Last time I had sex... dinners in the city and no more sudden movie days. We can always find a babysitter and we really don't go out that much anyway. Fine. Going back to work might be a problem for you. My mother and your mother have already agreed to watch the baby for a few days each week. You talk to them about this? Yes. Come on. Next. Hit me. 
more pressure for the brewery to succeed financially. I'd call that a pro. <laughs> you call that a pro? Yeah, especially considering that this whole brewery thing started out as a hobby, remember? Yeah, fine. Less money in the bank and less money to spend. Oh, come on, Joe. That's bullshit, and you know it. All right. How about this one? Less sex due to mommy being too tired. Baby sleeps 16 hours a day, I'll have you know. All right, less noisy sex. That's an important one. You can cover my head with a pillow, okay? How's that? Next. That's it. That's it. There's one more thing. I want to hear it. Birth defects. You had to say it, didn't you? You know, I was waiting for you to say it, and you didn't, and I was so proud of you for not mentioning it. What a jerk I am. Not mention it. I'm going to not mention it. You're as bad as your sister. You know that? They say it's going to be like this all week. I'm sweating my nuts off. Hey, 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 hey. Does that work? No. Yeah, yeah, it works. It just makes a lot of noise, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. Real. <laughs> <laughs> It's blue. It's tenant blue. Picture tube just kind of chip right out on us. Otherwise, it's fine. Chippered? Yeah, chippered. Now everything is, uh, blue. Hey, Carl! Come on. Stop it. Oh, I forgot to clock in. <laughs> You're going to miss your train. Mm, I got a little time. Listen, listen. I'm going outside to do some gardening. Good luck at your meeting. I'll be outside tomorrow at four. There's some uh, more uh, stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you.
closer, closer. Let's get closer, closer. Welcome back. Huh? What have you done to my house? You know what? That's you. Go ahead. Let's get closer and closer. Good morning. I'm with the Society for the Blind. <laughs> Joe, we've had sex on this night for as long as I can remember. Come on. We'll reenact the midnight ride of Paul Revere, and you can be Paul. I'll be your horsey. <laughs> Look, was I not clear yesterday? I don't have any money. Well, sir, we also accept. All right, thanks a lot. Can I have that beer now? Now leave me alone, all right? You win. Well, thank you, sir. But in fact, we all win when we... Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Vicky. How are you? Richard, pick that up. It's aunt season. How are you, Doug? So I'm great now that you're here. Gosh, Vicky, you look terrific. You know, it wouldn't be an association party without you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Doug, you remember Richard? Sure. How you doing, Rick? Doug Jennings. Yeah, pretty good, thanks. You know, uh, the little lady here is quite the mover and shaker down at the at the association. <laughs> In fact, sometimes I think she's trying to take my job. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, just go put the food on the table. The Sanderson's dog has been a real problem. I really think something needs to be done. You're absolutely right. And All right, I'm all finished. We uh, should probably talk about it at the next meeting, you know, but for right now, somebody owes me a dance. <laughs>
Hello? an accident, honey. Why aren't you at work? I, uh, I called in sick. Again? Richard, how many times do you think they're going to let you fake sick before they fire you? I'm not faking, though. I, I get dizzy. Dizzy? God damn it, Richard. Don't be such a pussy. I'm not going to let you destroy what we have here. You have bills to pay. I have to make them understand, though. I think I'm getting some sort of stress disorder. Stress disorder? You have got to be joking. What do you do all day? Sit at a desk checking lines of code? But what do you do all day? How dare you! I take care of your children! I make your meals! <sighs> the last time you cooked was like a frozen pizza three weeks ago. Every day I try to bring things into this home to make it more beautiful. For the last ten years I've tried to build a home just like my mother used to keep. I've tried to make the community better through the Homeowners Association. I'm just trying to have some sort of normal life here. And I don't need some narcoleptic schizo husband to fuck it up! Look, you know that you and the kids are very important to me. Then get off your ass and prove it. I've got to shower for a lunch date. job. I've, uh, uh, I've always admired your lawn. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Well, it's good talking to you, Stu.
What would the association think? Morning, Doug. <laughs> you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy.